Hello, I've just dashed from my workout because a trailer has landed, or a teaser, teaser. a teaser trailer, a teaser trailer, so that's, that's why I'm a little bit sweaty. If I break out in a sweat, it's the excitement of thinking that we're going to enter the royal family yet again for another season of The Crown. I can't remember whether you loved it as much as I did. I think I loved it more than no, you No, no, you didn't love it more than me. I, I did. I loved oh, it. Oh, I, I adored it. I thought Matt Smith was superlative. Superlative. I thought Claire Foy was the just the personification of simmering and contained, controlled and monarchical. She's a masterclass, masterclass. In, in, in being rather than acting, Absolutely. wasn't she? You, she could stand there and tell you an entire story of how she's feeling without moving a muscle. Just looking into a mirror and watching Matt Smith and his separate... I think we should get opposite bedrooms, just like Matt Smith and the Queen. Like Matt the Queen. Smith is so gorgeous He's as so well. gorgeous. He's, He's so really sort of gorgeous. elegant. And she's so beautiful. So that was all a delight. But of course... They were, will they be in it? Well, no, and also, no. of course, there was the other actress, I've forgotten her bloody oh, name, God. the actress who plays... Who we both had a massive crush on. Yeah, I've got a bigger crush than you. She was, who played Princess, Princess Margaret. Princess Margaret. Oh, oh what was that? She was recently in Hobbs and Shaw. She is <sighs> gorgeous and just beautiful. Oof. And sexy. And Oof, sir. Yeah, double crush, but also a damn fine actress. Oof, sir. Suits you, sir. Suits you. <laughs> Every scene is epic and grand and, ex and extraordinary la layers of joy and wonder. And, and for me, it, fall it doesn't fall foul of all of the uh, pitfalls that many costume dramas do fall foul of. It never feels cliched. It feels very, I don't know, it feels sort of very episode? contemporary. It feels very contemporary in a strange mm. way. The Prince Charles episode when he went to Gordonstone. Oh, I was so sad after that. The awful school that he went to, the oh, boarding school. Oh, right, yes, yes. But Prince Philip was obsessed with him going and yes. suffering, and yes. he suffered terribly. Yes. So I'm always very protective of Prince Charles. So I think season three has a very tricky thing to do, because let's not forget that gaggle of cast members that we've just talked about. We're in the first two seasons that established this as a success. So there's huge pressure really on the incoming cast to maintain that, because they have to maintain, obviously there's the continuity of character, but then there's going to have to be the continuity of what Claire Foy, Matt Smith and all the others set within the first two seasons. And you've, they've got to continue that on and yet develop them in their own way. So I'd have thought that's quite, I, was that, would that be a challenge or a drawback for an actor, do you think? Sort of picking up the baton as you move on from someone else. Because often in this day and age, if it's in a film, they'll often age someone up, won't they, with prosthetics to get older. So you can... I'd have thought that's quite a challenge. Well, I suppose... Well, it's difficult because you're dealing with real... It's different because you're dealing with real-life characters. Yes. So you are not totally creating... Right. ...a character. So it's got a bit more of a yardstick to get yeah. sort of measure against. Yeah, we've got Olivia Colman playing the Queen. Helen of... Bonham Carter playing Princess Margaret. Um, and I don't who know I who... think will be brilliant. Yeah, I think she'll be great. I think she'll be great. Um, I haven't got a clue who the others are, and I don't think I know. I, don't, I think Jason Watkins is playing Prime Minister Harold Wilson, maybe? I'm not too sure. Um, anyway, so shall we take I'm a look? I'm kind of okay with not knowing, though. I like, I, yes. like, I like to just find stuff. It's like we have to know everything these days before we see it. Everyone is delighted with the new profile, ma'am. Which they feel to be an elegant reflection of Her Majesty's transition from young woman to... Old bet. Settled sovereign. Mm. Just the tiniest changes. A great many changes. Nothing one can do about it. One just has to get on with it. Oh. Oh. Now, I've got a little bit of a problem with that. <gasps> What? Can you guess what my problem her is? Her accent. No. Her face? No. The crown? No. The fact that we loved her in The Favourite? Yes. So I'm thinking of her with, what's her name, gout. going down on her while she had terrible gout. You're thinking of lesbian sex? Yes. I see what you mean. Now you've mentioned it, so am I. It gives, <laughs> new, gives new meaning to licking a first class skin. Mark, don't do it. <laughs> don't put that in. What? First, no, because no, you the first don't... class stamp. That's disgusting. Anyway. But anyway, I loved Olivia Colman in The Favourite. I don't know whether you've seen it or not, but it was truly... It was one of my favourite films of last year, and she was it's brilliant It's of this year, actually. It. it was still possibly our favourite film of this year. Yeah, and um, the Queen... What's, it, what's the Queen's name that she played? I think she played Queen Mary, did she? Or Queen Anne. Queen Anne. Queen Anne. Queen Anne. Queen Anne. And... Um, Wow, what a character, but she's a lesbian and she's got terrible gout and 
there's some pretty scenes. And because I'm so, I was so absorbed by that and character, I'm now it. looking at her as the queen. I have to say, I wonder whether the casting directors of The Crown got a little bit concerned when they saw The Favourite, because it does certainly does feed it's into... It's affecting me. It's affecting you. It's affecting God, me, and I don't curious. want it to spoil The Crown for me. Oh, shit. I mean, maybe I'll get over it after the I know, the, first the idea episode. of Queen, our dear Queen, queen Lizzie having... Sort of no, don't say it. I'm not saying you don't need. You brought it up, Mark. You... I said it in a nice way, and now you are going. I'm to... not. I'm not running with it. Don't say another thing. The hairy cuppeth run over. Mark. Fire.